So for you lucky dog owners there, I wanted to try the lemon one because I was walking back past, he said it tastes like lemon sherbet. Hello, let's talk essentials. And I'm not talking the essentials which are behind me over my shoulder here, the fire extinguishers, the fire blankets, the smoke alarms, the carbon monoxide alarms. They are the absolute essentials. And you can see the video which I've done on that. I'll tag it in the description. But we're talking about the eating, the sleeping, the drinking. How are you going to do things like that whilst you're out and about? How are you going to be able to cook? What sauces and pans are you going to have? What cutlery are you going to use? There's lots of essential items which aren't really essential, but are rather useful to have. How are you going to sleep? Let's go and take a look. So obviously I couldn't talk about essentials without talking about Kodak Kodak. And Kodak, you've obviously got the great big range. You've got lots of different shapes and sizes, but not only do you have the cookers themselves, but you've also got the accessories, the meat thermometers, the pizza stones, or my favorite, which really is the tapas set. If you haven't seen these before, or you haven't actually used them, these are really, really good. They are so, so easy to clean. One of the best products which I've got, I've got to say. And there's lots of different ones, lots of different accessories, lots of different models, different configurations, different gas bottles. So whether you've got an LPG tank in your van, or you're just using a bottle, or you're using one of the smaller bottles, it can cater for you. The brilliant Kodak is absolutely a fantastic range of products. Do check them out. I can highly, highly, highly recommend them. I've got two, three, yeah, very good products. So another essential item, and that is van shades. Now we've probably all heard of van shades. We've all seen them in the vans, but we might not actually know that a van shade is a van shade. This is what these fantastic looking blinds are. They're made by a company called Van Shades. And look at all these different colors they do. It isn't just a case of you have black curtains or gray curtains. They do lots of different shades and different colors. You can see that they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. So whatever size van you've got, they do the doors for it. But not only that, look at this, the table, which I've been talking about in the past, and I've talked about loads of times on my channel before, such a versatile product and van shades sell them. This is one of the best designs which I've seen. I absolutely love these. So again, didn't actually realize I was gonna be talking that in my essentials video, but that's what it is. That is an essential item as well as the thermal blinds. So we have talked about the actual blinds on your windows internally, but what about externally? And I'm sure you've all heard of rainbow screens. Now, rainbow screens is a fantastic product, which is well insulated. The insulation materials and quantities in these screens is absolute top quality, which means that the product which you're getting is gonna do the job it's intended to do, because it's not only just to keep the sun out, but it's also to keep the heat of that sun from getting inside your vehicle on that really, really hot summer's day. And then in winter is to make sure that the heat doesn't penetrate from inside your vehicle and get outside. These thermal screens are brilliant and they don't just come in your normal blacks and greys. I mean, look at this, look at this color chart. There's a color chart here of all sorts of different colors, which is gonna suit pretty certain, pretty much everybody's needs. And they don't just come with different colors. They also come with eyes. Look at that. How cool is that? When you're on a campsite and you look back at your van and your van is looking at you to make sure that you're looking at it. <laughs> you gotta love them, aren't you? I'm sure you've seen these around. You might have wondered where, who produced them, where they came from. Well, now you know, it is rainbow screens. Do check them out. So they've got a website and they are really, really well worth looking at. Let's be honest, you can't overlook an essential item than a Yeti cool box. You've seen me talking about them many, many times before. Unfortunately, they've not got the brand color which I want. Uh, I've seen them in the Tundra 35. They don't seem to have it, which I know it was a limited special edition anyway, so I wasn't expecting them to, but they've still got some other Rody 24s, etc. Um, not my color, but they do have the Ramblers. Maybe, maybe it's the Dometic I want. Let's go back to Dometic, have a look what they've got on the proper stand, because we've seen the wild one, which was with the awnings. So what they got down here, let's go. Yes, they do, Dometic van life. And I can see them from here. 
look, you've got the massive one, which is probably too big for what my purpose need is. If I come around here, they do have it in the smaller size. That is more the size of the one which I like. That is fantastic. I think that would probably suit my needs spot on. And like with the Yeti, you've also got the tumblers, the thermal coffee mugs, the thermal bottles, etc. It's pretty much like Yeti, but now made by Dometic. But alternatively to the uh, those boxes, I could potentially get one which is going to be powered. Now I've already seen the total cool ones. And if you want a more recognized, well-known brand, then Dometic could be the one for you. What's the difference between them? Maybe one day I'm going to find out. I know that there's very, very positive reviews for, for both the products. And speaking to a dealer who actually deals in these products and has heard a lot about the Total Cool. The Total Cool is a product which they're really interested in actually getting into their showroom. What are you going to sit on in your camper van? No good getting to sight, is there, if you've not got any chairs and a table? Depending on what conversion you've got will also depend on what actual table and chairs which you've got in there. Lots of different options available. Now, I've got uh, quite a few Dometic products myself. Personally, I will whisper it, but I like the Isabella chairs, but they're probably a little bit too big to be actually putting in a camper van. You can get some really small, nice ones, fold away chairs, like Van Shades do one in the tailgate pod, which is a really, really nice product. But when you're on your table, you sat down and you need to eat, then you're obviously going to be needing to eat out of something. And this set, or should I say these sets from Camper, which is Dometic, are really, really nice products. I think I might have spoken about these before because they are really good. I mean, that's them in the flesh. They look really good. They've got lots of different designs. So you've got your bowls, your saucers, well, they're not saucers, they're the medium sized plates and your bigger plates and your mugs. Nice products melanin they're not going to break if you have an accident if you drop it if you leave it on the side and it comes off it isn't going to break it is a nice product to be having essential well duvelet you might have heard me talk about the duvelet mattress before these are a fantastic product really really good comfortable what it does it combines the mattress with a duvet as well so you can see there that you've actually got the foam and you've got the duvet so you're only taking one item with you and it's really really comfy i've used these for years and i can highly highly recommend them so as far as the duvet is concerned it's certainly a big win for me yeah duvet for me is a definite winner really really nice comfortable packs away nicely definitely wouldn't be using anything else so security is obviously a big thing, but as far as the camper van owner is concerned, it's not really the Chris which you're, you're going to be getting. It's more of your alarms, your trackers, your immobilizers, etc. The physical security, you might have seen my video on that. Do check that out. Many of you will say that the Ridge Monkey is an absolute essential, but is it an essential? There are lots of them around. A lot of people have them and they have different uses because they don't just do the cooking items which you'll have seen, the pans and things, they do do other products. I mean, look at that. They've got a barbecue there. They've got the cool boxes. They've got the water. You can actually have a power shower using the 12 volt system. You've got the little stoves, which might suit some, which might not suit others. Sunglasses. And then obviously the pan and griddle, which most of you will have seen before and you use. Essential? Don't know, you tell me. So as far as essential items are concerned, maybe it's not particularly essential, but a Fiamma awning, obviously very, very popular for the T6. But a lot of people don't know that they don't only do those sorts of products. They do do a lot. They do do. They do do make. They do do. Uh, they make a lot of other sorts of products. Look, they've even got a porta potty. You need a toilet when you're obviously in your camper van. You need somewhere to go when you need to. You've also got toilet roll which again is another essential item which can sometimes be overlooked even if you've not actually got a toilet in your van yourself just to take some with you because if you go to a campsite or a public toilet they don't always have it so to have that is very very useful and when you get on site leveling ramps leveling ramps are something which I know people do overlook 
I've been to a lot of sites now and you've seen people trying to level the vans up on an uneven site and they've not been able to do it properly because they've not got the leveling ramps. They don't cost a lot of money. They don't take an awful lot of space. You don't need to keep them in your van all the time. If it is a daily driver, you don't need to be keeping them in there. But when you're going away, keep them in there because it's not going to be very good if you've got an incline in your van because also, did you know that your gas tanks will only operate at a certain angle? Ah, you didn't know that, did you? You want to check with your converter to find out what that angle is. So for you lucky dog owners then, and I say that lucky because I want a dog, but my wife doesn't really want one. But look at these, these are lovely products. These are towels, these are like robes to keep your dog nice and warm and dry. Make sure that they're clean. When they come out of the sea and it's cold, they can actually stay dry. You're not obviously going to be able to sense, but that is a really nice soft material. And the way they fold around and wrap around the dog, as you can see here, you've obviously got the demo dog, but you've also got some photos of them. And look, they are really, really nice. And I know they are very popular because I've seen a few people who are walking around with them. So if I had a dog, then this is what I'd buy. So should we get a dog? What do you reckon? Hey, Coco Spaniel? So as we're talking about essential items, what's more essential than having a drink? Well, look at this. This is toffee flavored vodka. And there's a lot of people who've been talking about this at the show. A lot of people walking around with bags of it. I'm actually going to give it a go myself. Can I try the apple, please? Yeah, of course you can. There you go. Thank you very much. The lemon's this one, then. The lemon's like a lemon share, but lemon bonbon. The apple's made nice. of rose red stormy apple and a uh, original toffee vodka recipe in there. Yeah, that's like one yeah. Well, I've got to say that that is really nice. I tried that apple one and it was really, really tasty. £20 a bottle as well, which to be honest with you, for such a bespoke product such as that, something which has been made by themselves isn't a bad price. So, well worth having a look at that. I have actually come back because I wanted to try the lemon one because I was walking back past, he said it tastes like lemon sherbet. So I've got one and oh my God, it actually smells like lemon sherbet. And it tastes like lemon sherbet. How would you get it to taste like lemon sherbet? That is mad. Crazy, that is brilliant. Thank Appreciate so that. No, brilliant, definitely. As I said, you want to get yourself down and try that because that is really, really good. Really good. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you agree with some of the items which I've said. If you don't, then do let me know in the comments what you don't like, but also equally, if there are some items which I haven't covered because I can't cover everything, then do let me know. If you haven't seen my other videos from the show, then do check those out here. Thanks for watching. Take care and I hope to see you soon.